Well, welcome to week uh, 13. This is Dr. Walters, and I am going to walk you through uh, during this week what will be required during the final two weeks of the semester. So first, let's take a look at week number 13. The key goal will be to complete your blog uh, editing the blog for a presentation to the class, but also uh, copying the blog, copying the blog text especially uh, onto a Word document to use as the first draft of the final paper. So since most of you have had a chance to look at my comments on uh, the work you submitted for the Country Comparison Blog Project, Let's take a quick look at what will be expected, what you missed, and how you can correct that uh, for both the class presentation and the final paper. Remember, between now and the, and the end of the semester, the goal, everything will be aligned and focused for the successful completion of this project. So the first thing you should do, be sure to read the instructions for the final paper uh, and especially the rubric that will be used to grade the final paper. This should direct or help you focus your efforts as you revise uh, and edit uh, the work on the blog. So now let's go back and look at the country comparison blog and exactly what will be expected uh, as you get this in shape for uh, the final presentation, class presentation. That will be fun. You, you receive comments from me, but I think you'll also learn a great deal from looking at the work of your peers and uh, commenting. So first, uh, Many of you left off the rationale for the selection, the thesis, the summary of conclusions, and the references. So let's quickly uh, take a look at what, what's here and, and what should be done. First, the brief description. You can begin by putting this inside the squares, but uh, eventually that should become part of the text that accompanies, uh, accompanies the table. The table is your data table. Uh, and you really need it to complete the blog. Uh, almost everyone got uh, was able to complete these two items successfully. So the place where people may have been uh, confused uh, were with two items, actually three items, one, uh, constitutions and entered reservations. These items, let me note for you, these items were covered in Unit 4, Week 8, and Week 7. So you can find the detailed information in these folders, but let's do a quick snapshot first. Okay, so for Constitutions, you'll note that Constitution has uh, a footnote number five. So let's go down to footnote number five, and this is a website. And you can use the information on this website uh, to complete this, these two um, boxes. What, what's required in those two boxes is specific information Let's look at Asia. Uh, specific information on whether or not the constitution of that country specifies that the rights of women are protected in the constitution. So let's look at Japan. And it's probably easiest to click on equality. And here we can see that in the Japan 1946 Constitution, all people 
are equal under the law, there shall be no discrimination in political or economic social or social relations because of race, creed, sex, social status, or family origin. So for your blog, you would simply quote this in quotation marks as Article 14 of uh, the Constitution of Japan, 1946. And you can actually find the text of that here. And supplementary provisions. And here it is, Article 14, all of the people are equal under the law and there shall be no discrimination. Okay, so next, uh, the next piece that was could have been somewhat challenging for people, entering reservations. Now, if you remember in the unit itself, that was, that was Chapter 8, uh, and going back once again to make sure that you can find this material if you need to, Go to weekly assignments, constitutions and religious reservations. You had a whole week on reservations to suit up. You may want to review this material. So let's go back to the blog. And now reservations, entered reservations, that's footnote six. So if you click on this and go to footnote six, or that's footnote six, go to click on that. That was on footnote six. Let's do this one more time just to be sure everybody saw what I did. Here's reservations, footnote six. Now footnote six has a live link. And I'm going to make this really easy. Remember that uh, in, the, in the weekly unit, if a country entered reservations on an article that was essential to the intent and purpose of CEDAW, then even though they may have become a CEDAW state party, that reservation suggests that something else, or might suggest that something else overrides their actual commitment to the convention. Here, let's take a look at Algeria, and I want you to look really closely. Next to Algeria is a footnote 2. Close look at footnote 2. Bangladesh also has a footnote. So let's go down to footnote 2, which will be actually 7, yeah, 2, which will be Algeria. And here, Algeria specifies that on Article 16, the provisions of Article 16 concerning equal rights for uh, men and women in all matters relating to marriage, both during marriage and its dissolution, should not contradict the provisions of the Algerian Family Code. So here, even though Algeria ratified, they entered a reservation on Article 16. That's what this item on the, the table suggests. So here, once again, you may want to uh, simply copy the exact words from the reservation uh, under this country and cite it, cite exactly what it was. Likewise, with I think most of you got dominant religion, although some of you missed that, the dominant religion can be found in theorta.com. Uh, and the, the GII, I think almost everyone got this. Uh, I'm sure everyone who tried got this. Okay, so clean up your blog. Move, the, move what makes sense to make sense outside of the blog uh, as a text with uh, a rationale for why you chose the countries you chose, what your thesis might be, what is the main thrust of your paper, add uh, preliminary summary conclusions and uh, references, and the references should conform to some known academic format.
let's go back now to the folder for week uh, week 13. Oops, this is week 14. Week 13. And in week 13, I'm going to open this folder shortly. This will give you precise instructions. Uh, again, as we move to the end of the semester, please note that every effort has been made to keep the workload focused and streamlined. From here to the end of the semester, the assignment stage the revision and final editing of the final paper, final presentation of the final paper. So I will be adding one, this lecture that I'm giving you right now, and I will be adding one additional lecture, substantive lecture, with an overview of uh, CEDAW and the Rights of Women. In the final discussion, uh, I've already created a little table for the United States, so you'll be looking uh, at the United States and the, the final discussion question and the reflection that will be added uh, to your final paper will be identical. So as you create this, participate in this discussion, you'll be creating this paragraph that becomes uh, the last section of your paper. After con contemplating your own life in relation to CEDAW, changing U.S. laws, norms, indicators of gender equality, and the countries you studied, write a brief reflection on your life chances, attitudes, experiences, hopes, and dreams, your worldview. Uh, how do your life chances compare to those in the countries you studied? And I want to add as a final note that I found this to be uh, particularly interesting because um, in the final week of class, you will be looking at the, uh, which I put this together for you and I put together a table for you, Women and the U.S. Constitution, and this video is about ERA uh, in 1975. One of my very first students did her senior project on the Equal Rights Amendment. And here we are now. Uh, it hasn't quite passed yet, but certainly a lot of things have changed for women uh, between 1970, and today it was almost 50 years ago, or over 50 years, 75. It was almost 50 years ago. So uh, I'll be giving that one last lecture for you, and I wish you the best on these blogs. I'm looking forward to uh, reading them.